2017's Wonder Woman, directed by Patty Jenkins, is arguably the first successful female-led superhero film. While it has a functional story, decent action, and some passable humour, <laughs> it's the way it reflects contemporary ideologies that I would argue is the heart of its success. Obviously it has a strong message of female empowerment, but there's another significant ideological perspective at play in the film's first battle sequence. Humanism is described as a progressive philosophy of life that affirms our ability and responsibility to lead ethical lives, that are motivated by compassion, and it affirms the dignity and value of every human being. A significant way that the film reflects this ideology is through its handling of war and violence. Up until this point, we've seen a precocious young Diana wanting to learn to fight. She lives a sheltered existence on an island paradise, inhabited entirely by warrior women. Through a montage, we see that Diana is protected, but trains in secret. Although the film teaches that War is nothing to hope for. It's clear in these opening scenes that Diana holds a naive longing for the glory of battle. That's why the first battle scene is such an important turning point in the narrative. It's Diana's first exposure to the outside world, and more importantly, the realities of war. Although having just proven that she's a formidable warrior, Diana and the other Amazonians are taken by surprise by this sudden invasion. Ready your bows! They have guns, right? We get some great shots that display the Amazonians' strength and skill. But almost immediately, the horror of war is driven home to Diana. In just a few seconds, we see a significant moment of character development. Let's rewind and consider how various codes have been used to convey this. First, a sharp gunshot captures the audience's attention. Through editing, time is protracted and we see the bullet move through the air in slow motion. This emphasizes the significance of this bullet and allows the audience to witness Diana's confusion as she follows its path. The dramatic orchestral music builds up through sustained strings that rise in pitch and volume, and also loud, bassy percussion. This builds suspense and tension until the bullet makes impact. As the music reaches a crescendo, contrast is created as the sound of the bullet striking the Amazonian warrior is dull and muted. The sounds of battle are dropped in the mix and mournful strings rise up. The camera tracks in on Diana's shocked expression, actress Gal Gadot drawing in her eyebrows and opening her mouth agape. We cut from her reaction to a point of view shot of the Amazonian warrior swinging, limp and lifeless. This moment is followed immediately by the slaughter of several Amazonians as they run directly into gunfight. It all happens in a few seconds. But this overt use of film codes and conventions effectively convey Diana's sense of devastation and loss as she experiences real violence for the first time. The film walks a delicate line. Diana and the Amazonians are warriors, and violence is inherent in this superhero story. However, it simultaneously presents an anti-war sentiment and reflects a humanist ideology that all life is precious. This is done by contrasting heroic acts of valor exemplified particularly through the romanticized imagery of the Amazonians fighting honorably with medieval weapons, with the senseless brutality of male soldiers in grey military uniforms fighting with guns. You could argue this is a false contrast, but the symbolism works within the context of this fantastical narrative in the superhero genre. Nonetheless, even the death of the German soldiers is treated in a somber fashion, with deep horns and slow motion giving way to the cost of war. It's in this way that the film manages to strike a balance and include all the action we'd expect from the genre while still reflecting anti-war humanist ideals. And in case you're worried that the whole film would be dull and preachy, don't worry, we've still got scenes like this. Yeah! 